So over Christmas, yeah. we've had lots of questions from clients through our Instagram and Facebook pages. Yes. So you've got a list there, yeah. which you're going to ask me, and I'll try and um, ask, uh, ask oh, the well. questions. And a lot of it is a lot of it basement <laughs> questions. So most of it is basement questions. Most of it is today. basement. Yeah. Okay. So I think we we stay on basements today. Okay. Okay. You know. So anyway, the most asked question is, how much does it cost for a basement conversion? So a basement conversion costs roughly 180 to 220 pounds a square foot for a single story basement. Yeah. That's under a footprint of a, a, a house in Fulham, Chelsea, Putney, Wandsworth, Clapham. A normal basement under the footprint of the house. So roughly, yeah, 180 to uh, uh, 220 a square foot, but that doesn't include the fit out costs. Yeah. Fit out cost on top of that, it all depends on scope of works, what are you fitting down there, what flooring, what skirting, what lighting, what whatever you put in the basement. What kitchen? What kitchen, you know, so it, yeah. the, the, you know, it varies a lot. Okay. And why is it worth it? Why is it worth getting a basement? Well, it's worth putting a basement in, in London because it adds so much pound per square foot to the property. Now, <clears throat> it doesn't work anywhere else outside London because, um, for instance, if you live in Portsmouth, Southampton, Winchester, or anywhere else, the pound per square foot is too low. Yeah. To do a basement, obviously it costs a lot of money to do the, the dig and the fit out. So if you're gonna spend 400 grand on your basement, it's gonna be more value in the basement than in the house. Exactly. You know, so yeah. you know, if you wanna be doing a basement under a 300 grand house and your basement's costing 400 grand, it ain't worth it, is it? Yeah. But in London, if you're doing a basement under a two million pound house and we're creating 1,000 square foot extra and it's gonna cost you roughly 450K, it's gonna add one million pounds to the pound per square foot yeah. to your property in Fulham. Very if you're in Chelsea, Mayfair, Knightsbridge, Belgravia, it adds even more money because the pound per square foot goes up. Yeah. So yeah, it all depends where you are in London that it stacks up to have a basement. Okay. Do you need planning permission? So for basements, you need planning approval. So that usually takes two months to get it through planning. It's not, it's not difficult. You know, once people instruct us, we're a design and build company, so we take care of the design, we take care of the planning application, we get it through planning. Once it's in planning, there's a thing called party walls, and a party wall agreement needs to get signed off before we start the build. So yeah, party walls, structural drawings, planning applications all need to be in place before you start the build. Right, okay. And how long would that take? To, to complete a basement from start to finish, kind of, well, what's the build time? Let's say if we're, we're working on that thousand square foot uh, basement under a house in Fulham. That is gonna take you at least four to five months yeah. to do the dig. That is the shell and core, the underpinning, the steels, the slab, and then to do the fit out, it's gonna take another four to five <coughs> months. So nine months in total. Okay. to do the basement under a footprint of a house in West London. Yeah. Now, going back a few years, you could do double basements and triple basements, but uh, Kensington and Chelsea, House of Fulham, Westminster, they can't stand it. The reason being, it takes so long and it's yeah. so messy and it's so noisy. So going back to the party wall agreements and there, now there's a policy in South Kensington uh, that means you have to have a traffic management plan. Right. And a traffic management plan puts in place uh, procedures to make sure your neighbours are looked after. Because if I live next to you and you're doing your triple basement, that's going to take a year and a half, two years to do your basement. I'm going to be living next door to you while it's going to be noisy, messy, yeah. When the grab lorries come along, it blocks up the road for half hour, hour at a time. So in London, that's chaos. Okay. It's quite a good way to double your money. Incredible. 
incredible. There's no way you could do that. So, you know, if for an investment purposes, so if we're going to buy a 2,000 square foot house in Fulham, so that 2,000 square house in Fulham is going to cost 2 million quid at 1,000 pound a square foot unmodernized. If we're going to add value by putting a basement in to create another 1,000 square feet, that means that house is going to go up to 3 million quid. Yeah. It's going to cost them for the whole house refurb, maybe 550k, but it's going to add 400 grand profit to the house. Yeah. So it's not rocket science. And again, when you move into more prime areas like Mayfair, Nicebury, Belgravia, St. John's Wood, the pound per square foot goes up. Yeah. You know, especially in North London, uh, the houses are on a bigger footprint. That means bigger basements. We, you know, we're just um, about to start one in St. John's Wood and that basement is going to be two and a half thousand square feet. Wow. So two and a half thousand square foot, it's going to be a five metre story high, yeah, so good. massive. Um, and you know, it's under the footprint and the garden on the client's house. So that is going to, the basement's going to cost, I don't know, it's going to cost a lot of money, but it's going to add two and a half thousand square feet underneath the ground. Right, yeah, that's, that's incredible. Good. Yeah, because another question was about, it was about head height. Mm. The average head height of a basement. So the average head height for a basement is 2.8 meters. Okay. When we do our basements, it's usually three meter. If you want the wow factor, so if you're gonna do that two and a half thousand square foot basement and you want the wow factor, you want a lovely story height, you want lots of natural light coming in through light wells and maybe um, uh, subterranean uh, gardens, you know, so you can have your uh, uh, entrance to the garden for a stairwell, which brings lots of light in. And the people have to move out though, if you're doing a basement, do you have to yeah. move out of the house or um, stay in there? You can stay in. Yeah. You know, we've done many, many basements when the clients stay in, and, um, but it is very noisy for the clients. Um, it's very safe because we're taking our time, we're underpinning everything, health and safety is priority. And, uh, but as I say, the only negative thing is when you've got people living in the house, you've got to take your time a bit more. Yeah. Because you've got someone upstairs. If they were out, you can literally go in there and crack them. Give it some, yeah. Give it some and get the floors up, make, make noise. You know, you don't have to worry about anyone upstairs. But yeah, we, we, we really like the clients to move out. Yeah. Right, I like that. Like that. Just, we've got, one, got a few more to go, Nick. Yeah. What factors can raise the costs? What factors? Yes. Right. <clears throat> so when we do a scope of works and we agree a price of a client, we always factor in a contingency, yeah. maybe 5 or 10%. Because when you're doing a basement, especially under London, you never quite know what's in the ground. You know, during World War II, there's been, there was lots of bombs dropped everywhere. Yeah. There is there is a surveys where all the bombs are, but you know, if it's a if it's a Victorian terraced house and it's still standing, there's not going to be any bombs. But you never can tell what's in the ground. Yeah. Um, when we uh, get a survey done for the drainage, or if we're doing a, a basement near a tube, say yeah. for instance in Chelsea or South Kensington. We've got to get permission that, you know, we've got to make sure we're, we're well away from the tube, even though the tube's hundreds of feet below us. Yeah. You get a survey done to tell you what's, um, what's in the ground. Is there any, any drainage we didn't know about? We've just done one in um, Richmond, signed up, um, but the architects who gave us the drawings and gave us the plans didn't predict an air raid shelter yeah. underneath the property. Wow, okay. So we've demoed the old extension. But under the old extension, there's an air raid shelter. So that wasn't factored into the price. So obviously that, that, means, that, that yeah. that's a variation, that's an extra. We get it agreed, the client pays, and we move forward. Okay. Well, now another one here, Nick. Do you guarantee your work? We guarantee our work. So we, we give a 10 year guarantee on all our work. And also when we do a basement, the actual tanking system is a Delta tanking system. 
and that they offer, I think it's like a 10 to 20 year uh, warranty on their tanking. So yeah, everything we do is guaranteed. Everything the tanking system provides is guaranteed. And obviously what we want to make sure is when we lock into a contract with a client, we make sure we look after them from start to finish. Even when the jobs are off, are finished, yeah. we're only a phone call away. So if there is a slight problem, maybe you know when we finish work, there's slight snagging and stuff we need to go back and fix, we make sure we go back and dig it out. Okay. Yeah. So that was, I mean, the last question was, why should we choose new projects? Why should we choose them? I mean, well, was... new projects, yeah offer a complete turnkey solution. So from the moment that phone goes, we go and do a site visit. We speak to the client, we can offer them architecture, interior design, project management, we take care of the party walls, we take care of the structural engineer, we take care of all the asbestos surveys and any other surveys, and then we do the build. Yeah. So maybe if the client's an international client and they're not in England, they need to trust someone. Yeah. You know? Obviously, we're based on Fulham High Street. We've got a magnificent office. We've got great staff. You know, people come to us because we've got all this. Yeah. You know, we're not a man in the van. We are a premier London-based construction company. Oh, very good. Well, maybe we, we can do this you know, every week. We yeah. put something out on social media. What would they want to hear about? Do they want to hear about um, loft conversions, pod rooms, mansards, interior design, architecture? So, kitchens, kitchens, bathrooms. Obviously, you take care of the kitchens, you take care of the bathrooms. You know, if there's anything out there our viewers want to hear about some kitchens, what's the difference between Sarstone and Dexon and granite and marble and the high quality laminates? Yeah. Well, until next week, Ron. Until next week, I've got to go. Where you got to go? I've got a meeting. Two o'clock. Ah. Right. Cheers. See you later. See ya.